Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you're watching this, it's Coffee Thoughts. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. Hello and welcome to another version of uh, Coffee Thoughts, another week of Coffee Thoughts. Um, and if you're new here, um, I'm Bethy B, and this is uh, my channel of uh, Wild Variety. And uh, um, I sit here on Mondays and drink coffee and uh, complain about stuff. Um, or think about things or talk about things in depth. Who knows? Um, I have no idea what I'm talking about this week. I'm just going to start talking and, um, and hope for the best. Um, like the weather is changing. It's starting to finally change. Um, I'm sure it'll snow tomorrow, uh, because I said this, but like it was like in the sixties yesterday while I was at work all day. Um, it was a beautiful day. Oh man. I cannot wait until spring. Like honestly, like if I could just make it spring right now and like make, you know, the trees start growing leaves and, and flowers blooming, I would. It would probably be, like, the best thing ever for um, my moods. I mean, like, I am all over the place anymore with my moods. I mean, it's like, you know, when you take medicine for this stuff, it's supposed to work, and it doesn't. But then again, just imagine how I would be if I wasn't medicated. So there's that. Um, I had a, a whirlwind last week. Um, I was all over the place last week. Um, you know, I had to be a parent. Like, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this or not. And I'm not, I'm not going to be, like, completely open about what happened or, or whatever. But, like, I am going to, like, brush on it. Um, you know, being a parent sucks. Like, I really, I truly believe that. Um, and if one of my kids actually watches this video, um, I'm sorry right now. But being a parent sucks. Um, and it doesn't suck in the fact that, you know, like... You know, I get to enjoy my kids. You know, we do things together. We have we have great times. Um, but being the the only parent and having to be the bad guy as long you know, as well as being the cool one, um, being the bad guy sucks. Like I can't say that enough. I mean, last week, um, if you watch my my vlog from my um, uh, weight loss, you know, my my keto vlogs. Um, I had to admit in the middle, like, not, not in the, even in the middle, like Tuesday, I went rogue and I didn't follow my diet. I was in, in a, just an emotional mess because my oldest got suspended from school and uh, it's not major, but it was just enough to make me have to be the bad guy, which I completely hate. And, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and <clears throat> act like my kids are, are innocent and perfect and, and because none of, none of our kids are innocent and perfect. Um, if you think your kids are innocent and perfect, you probably should go talk to them because um, they're doing something. They are. Um, but I always wanted to be that mom that had their kids just like be open and honest and tell them everything and, and be able to discuss. I mean, I had some friends, though, that had, you know, relationships like that with their kids where they their kids just told them way too much. And, um, and I've never really like I have that kind of with Emily um, and Will. But like my oldest, like she still hasn't figured out that like if you just tell me where the like that you've murdered someone and give me a heads up before I have to, you know, like head this off, I will help you hide the body. I'm just saying, you know, that's what kind of mom I am. She's never figured that out. So, you know, I had to um, had to deal with some stuff at the school and um, which I'm not, you know, I I'm not. Um, new at, you know, like there's a a common phrase around this house that, you know, mom will come burn down the school, you know, just tell, tell her what happened. She'll go burn down that school and, and she'll go in guns blazing and defend you with everything she's got. Um, unless she gets a surprise phone call and then you're in trouble. So, you know, um, lots of stuff has been getting cleaned around this house um, because I'm one of those moms. Um, like if in order for me to not murder you, um, <laughs> I will make a whole list of things that you've got to do um, to keep you busy. Um, so she didn't sit down not once um, the whole time she was suspended. She was cleaning this house and doing things around the house that really honestly needed to be done. Um, that I just haven't had time to do. But, um, I mean, at one point, like, she realized that this is not, like, I gave her a small list. And, like, the first thing on it was, like, she had to take the, you know, the broom and sweep the, the downstairs Um you know, there were several rooms that don't have carpet down here. So she had to, to sweep the downstairs and it took her like 45 minutes to an hour to complete that task. And that's just because I kept walking around and if I could kick a piece of dirt or something or, or a piece of cereal or a speck, um, and then she had to do it over again. And I thought she was going to snap. Um, but that's just how it is. You, you know, you see either that or die. Um, and I'm not really into killing kids. Um, 
as a parent. I, I feel like that's wrong. Um, I don't beat my kids. Um, although, um, I probably would have gotten beat. Um, just saying, uh, I grew up in that time era where you, you heard, you heard that belt come out of that, the, those, those loops and, uh, you knew like it was about to get real, but you know, I don't raise my kids that way. Um, and for the most part, that's worked out for me. You know, I don't really want to beat them, but I do, I do want to make them clean when they get in trouble. That's a big thing that I do when, when my kids, you know, get in trouble. What, what if, what are some of the things that you do when your kids get in trouble? Um, everybody's kids get in trouble. Don't judge me right now. Um, like honestly, but what do you do when, when your kid pushes the limit to the limit and then, and then adds four? Um, what is it that you do when to make them learn their lesson? And I'd say like, after, by the time I was done with her, um, she has learned her lesson. Um, and I can, and that's something like you don't know. You really don't know as a parent whether or not they really truly learned their lesson until they don't do it again. Um, and then, so now it's like a waiting game. I'm like waiting to see if she learned her lesson. Like I said at the beginning of the video, spring is coming. Um, thank goodness. I, I'm telling you, like, when I get in these moods, though, when, when, like, the, when it's snowing or raining all the time and it's darkness outside, it's like, it takes everything I have to get out of bed and, um, and do anything. Um, so the simple fact that I was able to follow my diet at any last week um, was a, pretty much a miracle. Um, and I'm not really, I'm not really for certain, you know, if I did follow it to the best I could, I mean, when I was following it. So, um, this is a new week. You know, I said I wasn't going to talk about weight loss on my coffee thoughts, but that was a big deal last week was like, I just kind of let loose and let go. Um, and it was like raining and, and snowing and the sun wasn't out. And then this weekend it was like Saturday or Sunday. It was just like, Oh, everything got better because the sun was out. And today it's like in the like high forties, low fifties. And I feel like that's like a heat wave. And, um, and all I can think about is all the things I want to do outside, like all the things I want to, I want to do, like I want to hike and, you know, I want to find time to go hiking again and I want to, you know, work around the yard and plant flowers and do things that make me happy. Like that is, I'm, I think that's when I realized that, you know, um, I've gotten older is that planting flowers just brings great joy to my life. I don't know what in the, what's the deal with that. Um, but, um, there's probably some kind of scientific study, um, but it's just, being outside and being outdoors and, and, and not fearing losing a limb. Um, it, it's probably just a, a big improvement on my moods. Girl Scout cookie season is upon us. Um, in full swing. I went to Walmart yesterday and, um, they were all sitting out in front of the Walmart, all pretty. I love, I love Girl Scouts. I love kids. I love them to death, but like I got some aggressive, um, Girl Scouts in my area. Um, and they see me coming and they're like, oh my God, she's going to order like a whole box. I know it. And they start screaming at me from like, you know, like when you get to the crosswalk in front of the, in front of Walmart or from any business and then, you know, like cars are going by and stuff like that. And you have to wait for the cars to go by and then you walk across and enter the building. Okay. That area right there. I get to where I have to stop and wait for cars to go by and they're screaming at me. Do you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies? Don't make eye contact. That's my number one rule. Don't make eye contact with the Girl Scouts because you will have to buy a case of cookies that you can't eat. I don't know why. I don't. Uh, why do they make those things so good? And they're like the tiniest things on the planet. I remember Girl Scout cookies. I, I swear those boxes were bigger and those cookies were bigger. And now it's like same amount of calories packed into littler cookies into a smaller box. And you get like 10 of them and you've ate 4 billion calories. I just can't do it. So my number one rule when it comes to Girl Scouts, and I'm sorry, don't make eye contact. I can't make eye contact with those little girls or else I will buy the whole box. And that's why they start screaming at me from across because they're like, if we, if we catch her off guard, she'll make eye contact and then we're in there. And then she's going to spend her whole check on them buying Thin Mints and, uh, and oh, what is it called? Dosey Do's? No. The chocolate and the peanut butter kind. Um, which, last week... I probably should have bought some Girl Scout cookies last week. That probably would have been the, the time to get me, but I, I didn't go on a day that there was Girl Scouts sitting outside. And, um, but I, uh, found these cookies in Walmart last week that have, um, that are like chocolate with peanut butter in them. And they taste just like those one kind of Girl Scout cookies that I cannot remember the name of right now. But if you know the name of it, just put it in the comments so that we'll all know. Um, 
But I found those at Walmart, and um, they taste just like the Girl Scout cookies at a fraction of the cost, and um, still the same amount of calories, and I ate an entire container of those by myself. So I need to get, I need to get real. I need to get in check. Um, how have you guys been this week, um, or this last week? Did you have a good week? I am, I am trying to embark on this week. It is Monday and I am trying to embark on this week with a new positive attitude. Um, I feel like I have been down on myself a lot here lately. Um, and I think that just goes along with the, the weather and the way things have been. Um, I, I have been down on myself a lot and it shows because like you guys are really sweet in the comments. Um, and you're like giving me, you know, positive uplifts and, and trying to, to help me out. Um, and I have been negative on myself. I have been very down on myself here lately and I need to stop it. Like I need to quit. Um, I'm trying to be more positive this week. I'm trying to, um, look at the bright side of things. Um, I am like, I'm doing a, a big reset of my brain and uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, this week, um, I will be doing an extra video on Saturday. Just FYI, um, I'm probably going to do a get ready with me on Saturday. Um, I'm going to be going out for St. Patrick's Day. Um, we have a pub in our area and they um, they put on one heck of a, of a time. They have like all this live music and um, uh, Irish music and, and everything. And um, like last year, St. Patrick's Day fell on a Saturday and it was insane. Um, this year it falls on a Saturday, but they're still doing it and um, everybody will be there. So I will be going out on this Saturday. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I'll probably do a get ready with me on Saturday. And then here's the fun part. Um, make sure that you are following me on Instagram. Um, and the link is below to, to follow me on Instagram. Because I believe that I will be doing a um, uh, go out with me um, video. Like I'll, I'll, I think I'm going to be adding videos to my story as the night goes on. And um, I'm pretty sure that will get interesting. Um as the night goes on, like in the beginning it might be a little bit boring and then it'll just probably really kick in there because I did this last year, um, on Snapchat, um, where like I just recorded everything and like the next day I watched it and I'm like, wow, that was a good time. Um, so I'm hoping that I have a, a, an even better time this year, um, than I did last year. And, uh, and you guys will be able to, to join along even if you can't go out with me. So there's that. Um, that's about all I have for you today. Um, I know it's uh, mid-afternoon, and I'm just now doing coffee thoughts, but again, I work tonight, um, so I had to sleep in. Um, I don't know. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, and then um, make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already, and hit the bell so that you get notified when I pop out videos. Um, also, go follow me on Instagram, because uh, um, I'm sure that Saturday will be fun. <laughs> um, bye! Every single day.